Hi hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our daily technical analysis update for the Harmony One token. If you are enjoying this daily content, do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and definitely do join that Discord group in the description below. If you are receiving value out of this channel, guys, and you're looking for a new cryptocurrency exchange to buy all of your cryptocurrencies on altcoins on, I've currently transferred over to CEX.io. It's got really quick and easy and reliable withdrawal system straight to your bank account. And also, as you can see here, it's just one click of a button to buy your altcoins and your cryptocurrencies. So if you are interested in getting started, do make sure to check that link in the description below. So the first thing that I'd like to show everyone is actually on this four hourly time frame, guys. And you can see that there's a bullish reversal pattern playing out here. We're currently finding our resistance on the 6.4 cent region. And this uh, bullish reversal pattern was validated when we broke out of this resistance on this uh, bullish expanding triangle. So this was really nice that we adhered to this. You can see that this wick down here actually adhered to our um, Elliott Wave Theory Wave 4. So hopefully we have actually bottomed out for the Harmony 1 token. And I'll be getting into the weekly time frame as well very shortly to show you where we are kind of on that macro picture. I'm going to get into the bullish scenario first for you. So I've got my paintbrush out for the bullish scenario now guys and I'm just going to draw what needs to happen. So we need to see a back test on that 6.4 cent region. If we do want to go on and take out that 6.78 cent and if we manage to get above that and back test it, that's when we're going towards that 7 cent region guys. And that 7 cent region will be a really nice long trade. If I do just show that um, measurement, you can see that that's around 9% away. So if we were to get this back test on the 6.4 cent region, we'd be making that long trade of that 5% towards 6.7 cent. And then from there, if we were to back test that, the 7 cents looking like a 3% long trade. You can see that these are clearly valid um, resistance and support levels. As you can see, this 6 this six cent region here, we back tested as a support today. We found, a, we found it to be a resistance level when we back tested it and failed to do so yesterday. And you can see that the 6.2 cent, we've, we actually back tested that on this candle today. That's also something which was back tested on around the 5th of July, all the way from actually the 30th of June. And you can see clearly that this 6.4 cent is a, is a clear resistance as we fell below it on the 19th of July yesterday. So these are some really key uh, levels to kind of have mapped out in your charts, guys, if you are wanting to make them long trades. And I'll get into the bearish scenario for you guys as well. As I'm just going to zoom out, you can see that we have got fairly high RSI, nothing to be worried about. We're not going to be short in anything necessarily, but you can see that there's a 54 level on this RSI and potentially um, we will actually see a bit of a correction in the short term for the Harmony One token on this four hourly time frame. And what this must look like is if we did find um, a rollover on this um, on this level here on the 6.4 cent, if we actually found something like this, I'll just get a paintbrush out guys, where we actually fell below, we failed to get back above that second candle needs to test it as a resistance for this to be valid guys. And then we're going to be short into that 6.2 cent. If we were to fail to get above that with that second candle, 6 cents coming in. And then um, from there, guys, if we were to see anything underneath 6 cent and we fail to get above, this is when that 5.7 cent region is coming in. You can see that's the support on that candle there. So you can see, guys, if we were to roll over on this first short trade, it'd be around 3%. The next one, if we took it from the 6.2 cent, we rolled over from that and hit our resistance. That's when our 2.5% target's coming in. And then from there, guys, if we were to see a drop below that 6 cent, I should say actually we'd find that 4% bounce off of this descending uh, support line, which is now a support, it was resistance. But now that we've broken out of it, it should be a support. So that's where I believe we'd find that um, bounce. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to get into that macro picture now. I'm going to look on that weekly time frame and show you what I'm seeing there. So this is a weekly time frame for the Harmony One token, guys. And the first thing that I'd like to share with everyone is that we are around that 46 level on that RSI. And what I've done is I've drawn this trend line out. Now, this is just an idea. Um, don't take it too, too kind of like objectively, but it's just one of my ideas that we do have um, this trend line kind of drawn in from when the bull run started of where we've actually bounced off. And you can see that we did on October all the way to um, December here, and we almost did in May. But you can see in May time when we had that correction, we actually fell below this level. So what? Um, just an idea is maybe if we did get above this um, trend line on that 58 level on the RSI, if we did manage to do that and kind of back test it as an RSI, maybe we would see that big bounce like we did over here. And we might leave ourselves overextended on that 96 level like we did over here as well, that 85 level. And maybe that's where we kind of see that $1 Harmony 1 token coming in, guys. So that's just a really kind of 
the subjective idea i just want to share my opinions as soon as i see something i'm going to share it with you guys so what i'll do now is i'll get into something which is less um which is less subjective and i'll get into this fibonacci retracement tool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it from the start of wave three and i'm going to bring it all the way down to wave two and make it nice and big so you can see what's happening here and you can see that we are actually finding a bit of a bounce off of this level um, around around that 30 level I'd probably say it's near that um, 0.382 on this Fibonacci retracement tool uh, kind of around that 5 cent region that 4.7 cent region and just something that I'd like to share with you guys is in the Elliott wave theory what typically happens is that the wave fall correction is around um, that 23.6% 23 of the wave 3 as you can see here that 8 cent we actually fell below that that's a bit of a resistance at the minute and you can see that we're actually finding a bit of support kind of between these two levels so the fact that we're finding a support between these two levels the 38.2 percent as well these are really key um, levels that we do usually create to in an Elliott wave theory so it's definitely something to be paying attention to I do think that we have actually bottomed out and hopefully we will be going back to that wave 5 um, kind of parabolic run and what we kind of need to do first, guys, is get above this 0.236, as that's where we usually do find a kind of correction between them kind of areas. So if we did manage to find a bounce on this 8 cent region, we managed to see a back test on that weekly time frame. This is going to be really bullish for the Harmony 1 token. Another thing that I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to hide this RSI here. I'm going to get the Stotch RSI out and make it nice and big. And you can see that the Stotch RSI is nice and low. We're still around that, around that 3 level. And you can kind of start to see it creeping up, guys. This is looking into it quite closely, but you can see we're seeing a bit of an increase there. And uh, if I do just bring us back to this wave two, when we did see that little bit of an increase, this would have been one of the best times to buy, as it, just before we did kind of get into this uh, 20 area. And then when we actually did leave ourselves heavily overextended, actually on to around that 98 level, this is when we saw that kind of parabolic wave. So this is definitely something to be paying attention to. I know I said it in yesterday's video, but it's definitely something to be paying attention to. Where this Stotch RSI is, guys, because I believe it's kind of indicating that when we are in these consolidation periods, in these correction zones like we are now, this is going to be a really good indicator to show us where we um, potentially are bottoming out. So I'll get rid of that there, guys, and I'll get rid of this Fibonacci um, retracement tool, and I'll get these um, these EMAs in. So you can see this first EMA is coming in at around 8.2 cent, this 20 EMA, and that's kind of where we're saying we want to get above that 0.236 on the Fibonacci retracement tool. So that's definitely something we want to um, we want to see a bounce off, and we will be on for continuation. And this is definitely kind of aligning to that idea. You can see that our 34 EMA is uh, very close to this level as well around that 7.1 cent region so i showed you on the four hourly time frame how we could climb up that kind of ladder and get to that seven uh, cent region which is around um, 10 percent away from where we currently are and you can see that we're finding a nice support just above um where we where this uh, 55 ema is sorry and you can see that that's around 5.7 cent so one thing that does usually happen is that we find a bounce off of this 34 ema and then we do usually find um we, we find a level of kind of resistance on the 34. A really key uh, example of this actually is this candle here. Can you see how we found a bounce off of that 34 EMA? And then we went on to find our resistance on this um, on this level where that 34 EMA was. So it's definitely something to be paying attention to guys. And I just want to make sure that everyone knows where these levels are. It's definitely important to know where that 20 EMA is. And that 20 EMA is where we need to back test before continuation. So they're just some really key levels there, guys. I hope that this uh, analysis has brought some value to you. If it has brought some value to you, do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Join that Discord group if interested. We've got around 50 members now, all um, including discussions every day, and I'm actually getting involved as well. So definitely a lot of value to be had in that group. And make sure if you are looking for a new cryptocurrency exchange, check that link in the description below, cex.io. So thank you for watching this video guys, I really do appreciate the support and make sure to have a nice day.